What is going on guys? It's Sam the Trucker here and welcome back to a brand new vlog. It's been a while, but we're back. We are back. New haircut, fresh beard trim, clean truck, we're good. Right, so today you obviously joined me at uh, six o'clock in the morning for uh, this vlog. Just going around doing the wee vehicle checks the new. So that way we can let the truck's fine, safe and good to use and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, welcome back. <laughs> um, I know it has been been a minute um, since we last did a vlog, uh, but yeah. Oops. So reason for the, the vlogs not being up is it has been quite busy with work recently. I've not had time to put out the vlogs, edit them together, and then actually like upload them on YouTube. Um, so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a different one today because obviously you joined me. We're outside in the truck, well, at the truck. Just hop up the now. Oh, goodness. Oh, eat, oh, ow. There we go, I'm good. Right, so, today, oh, I've got to move my hand out of the way. There we go, it's absolute, well, it's starting to rain now. Um, so today, we are going to Wishaw and Pop you in the uh, usual, usual spot. There we go. Today we are away to Wishaw and excuse me in Shinnan. Now, hopefully, today will be a rather easy day because um, once we finish it in Shinnan, we are going to going to air. To pick up some new, well, not new stuff, but stuff from um, Ayrshire. I might as well say it now. Ayrshire Precision to go out to NOV in Glenrothes. Um, so yeah, hopefully today will be quite a decent day for the vlog. Um, I'll try and get as many outside shots as I can. Sorry, I'm just far people at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll try and pop as many outside shots as I can. Um, because you guys have been requesting that I can't do driving POV, POV, blah, 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 blah. driving POV just yet. Um, I don't have the camera equipment for that, um, but I will be trying my best to get some outside shots done of uh, like the loading and unloading of stuff. But again, as I've said in previous vlogs, it really does depend on if um, the companies allow me to do that. Um, so. Yeah, I'll need to double check with them first before I do actually go ahead with filming for um, for that. So, yeah. Right, y'all guys, I'll quickly nip off just now, and next time I'll see you will be in Wishaw, hopefully, and hopefully I'll be able to get some outside filming shots for you. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Alrighty, so we have made it to Wishaw. Um, I don't think I'll be able to film in the place that I'm at just now. Uh, purely because of the amount of mechanical equipment around here, so I really do need to be on my A-game for around here. Um, getting out's going to be fun as well, because uh, <laughs> by the looks of it, I'm going to have to jackknife it to get out. Well, reverse back, off my good side, thankfully. Um, but it's just going to be a case of try and... Switch that light off. Try and not hit the gate. So, yeah, this will be fun. Um, but yeah. Probably next time we'll be seeing you guys will be... At in Shinnan. Um Again, I'll speak to the forklift driver there, see if I can film the stuff getting taken off, because it's a big crate sort of thing. So it's nothing really too secretive about that, I guess. Um, but yeah, as again, as I said, I'll speak to the forklift driver, see what he says. If he's down for it, brilliant. If not, then oh well, it is what it is. Um, again, I'll be asking the forklift driver at Airship Precision um, if I'm. I'm English Jackson, come on. If I'm able to film there as well, uh, it all just really depends on if I get permission to. Um, so I'll try and film everything, like getting loaded on at Airship Precision. Um, I'll try and film the stuff coming off it in Shinnan. But it's just one of those things, really. So, yeah. Right, I best go get the boots on and then chuck the high vis and the other jacket on. Um, so. That way I'm not getting a cold while I'm out here because I started getting a bit of a cold yesterday. But I think it was just me still waking up. So, yeah. Also, 
bit of the best friend today. It's got a bit of blue roll on it because I've got blue roll in my fridge in case it ends up defrosting. So, right, I'll go do that now. We'll get this stuff off and yeah, we'll just take it from there. Right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right, so we are at in Shinnan just now. I'll try and get some shots here of the stuff coming off and then opening the curtains and all that sort of stuff. But um, it's a bit of a jam at the moment. There is one lorry in at the moment. Well, kind of in at the moment. Um, I don't know what he's went and done, but he's went and made an absolute arse of getting into the yard. Uh, I've got a key dwell truck in front of me and then it's us. So we could be sat here for a while because this boy apparently doesn't know that he can just go in, spin it round and then face out the right way. Because when I was um, coming in, he decided, oh yeah, I'm going to make it a good idea to try and reverse out of here. Never a good idea. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on with this boy, but he's really got himself in a bit of a pickle. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on, but... Yeah, well, he's just hopped back in his cab, so he might be able to... Well, might just spin it around and then park up. But only time will tell. Right, guys, I shall see you all very shortly. I'll show you, like, those open the curtains and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, right, I'll see you shortly. Okay, so we are tipped uh, in Shinnan. I know I started to get out of the truck and, um, like, film, but... Uh, yeah, that obviously hasn't happened. Um, so yeah, we'll go to Airship Precision, we'll get the pallets on that we're picking up, and I should be able to record like opening the curtains and all that sort of stuff there. But again, it also depends on the weather as well. It just depends if it's if it's too windy up there, I probably won't record because safety. But yeah, so it's been an alright day so far. Uh, we've got our two drops off. Then go get collection and then take it to another drop and then yeah, we'll go from there. I'll put the puppy down here just now. Make sure we get the paperwork. Uh, 11 and 10 we finish that. And 659053. Nice. Alright, so that's them done. Um I said next stop is Airship Precision, so we should be there within about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So for me, it'll be an hour and a half till I see you next, maybe. And for you guys, it'll be two minutes. So, yeah. Also, as well, while I'm here, quickly crack that open. Hit cracking. So we'll get this open. Sip of the good stuff. Oh dear, drums is coming out. He's messaging me. Scott, hello. Um, he knows that I'm recording, so yeah. But right, so we shall get heading out to Airship Precision to pick up this load for NOV. Um, once we get to NOV, just be a case of offloading and hopefully not reloading there him, but we shall see. Quick drinking talk. So, yes, guys, I shall see you all very shortly. Okay, so we have made it to air, which is a bonus. Well, airship precision. So we'll just quickly pop down, get some curtains open. Thankfully, it's only four pallets, but I'm gonna have to try and get them four aside. Well, not four aside, sorry, fucking Jesus. Uh, three up the middle, um, well, three across, and one just sitting randomly, I guess. Excuse me. Uh, come across here. Use that. Right. Yeah. Right, lovely stuff. So we'll get this open. He says, as he just about smashed himself with a gun. Ten points. All right. I'll be back very shortly. I'm going to go see the faultless driver that we're here, um, and then we'll get those pilots loaded on. And then after that, find out what we're doing. So, right guys, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I've just been told that I'm just to wait another 15 minutes because the guys are actually on their break at the moment. So, yeah, I think I might make a, a little video for TikTok because there is possibly going to be something new coming out soon to do with, where is it, that. 
So yeah, hopefully um, we'll be maybe selling some Samness trucker stickers soon. But we shall see. It just all depends on pricing um, and designs and all that sort of stuff. So I do have a design in mind which will be very similar to the one that I just showed you up there. Um, so yeah. So right guys, I'm going to make a video for TikTok. So I shall see you all very shortly. And um, boom, just like that we are loaded. So now it's just a case of phoning up the office to find out what we're doing um, just now. Whether we're picking anything else up or if we'll be... Um, just driving back to Glenrothes, so we shall find out soon enough. Right, I'll give you guys a wee update very shortly. Right, so we're now bound for Pallet 2 Packaging, going back to, well, to get them to go to Petrivi Packaging. My old work, funnily enough. Um, so yeah, go pick up a load of pallets from there to take to Petrivi. Um, and then after we've been there, it'll be a case for going to NOV, so yeah. Turned out to be quite an easy day today. So that is a real added bonus. Uh, I had a feeling that he'd say that, so. Yeah, right, we'll go get these pallets. Um, and we'll just take it from there. So, right guys, I'll see you shortly. Okay, so we have made it to Uddingston. Uh, we're currently getting loaded up with 500 pallets to go to Petrivi Packaging. Um, also as well, on my way through here, uh, I actually got a tang and a tone. Well, not exactly a ton, but a flash of the headlights um, from a nice big red Scanny. He was heading up the M77, um, heading towards Kilmarnock and that sort of area. I was heading back the way, um, as if I was heading to Glasgow and heading back to uh, heading back to Fife. So a big hello to you, sir, and thank you very much for that. It actually made my day. Because um, when you're out trucking, it's, it's one of those things. Um, it does get lonely sometimes, I'll admit that. Um, I never thought I'd have to get into this subject, uh, but after seeing on TikTok and Facebook um, that has been a couple of drivers recently, well, within the past few weeks that have taken their own lives due to their own mental health, it it does hit home how hard this job can be at times, especially for the guys that like live away as well, like stay out in the trucks, the trampers, and the distance drivers as well. Um, there is always someone there to talk to. Like there's always like helplines and that, um, like for everyone to talk to. As I, I never thought I'd have to get into this like sort of subject, I guess, on the channel. But needs must. We need to be pro uh, spreading positive vibes. Like there's always going to be someone out there at the end of a phone or like the end of a text message or something that somebody could talk to um, at the end of the day and just basically see how they're all doing like that's the thing with this industry is that we do try and check up on each other as much as we can um, it's not the same as like seeing someone in person but yeah it does get lonely driving sometimes but at the same time like the day drivers the local drivers we all know that we're able to get home at night time to see our loved ones as opposed to Unfortunately, the guys that live away, as I said, doing the tramping and long distance driving sort of stuff, they don't get to see their families or loved ones for days, maybe sometimes even weeks on end. It just really depends um, on where they are. And yeah, as I, said, I never thought I'd have to get this into the chat, like onto the channel, but it's something that needs raised awareness of, basically. Um, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> off that subject for now. Um, getting tossed about like no tomorrow because of the fault of drivers loading me at the moment with the pallets. So yeah, positive vibes anyway, guys. Um, I'll get you all next time at uh, Petrivi, which will be literally 10 seconds for you guys and about half an hour to an hour for me. So yeah, right, I'm going to get some lunch and we've peckish in the house. So right, I'll see you all shortly. Okay, so we got unloaded at Petrivi. Um, I would have filmed that, but time is of the essence at the moment, as it is now five o'clock. So, yeah, the fourth of driving Petrivi wasn't too happy that I got there for about 20 past four. Oops. But, yeah, I'm getting unloaded now at NOV, um, and hopefully it'll be a case of back to the yard and finish up. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed we can get back and finish up. It's been a long week. It's been a long day. And I'm on my CPC training course tomorrow. Joys. 
but needs to be done. Um, at least in next year, all I need to do is one because I've got one tomorrow. I've got one next Saturday, so yeah. Right, I basically get the paperwork off this faultless driver, and then that be us done for the day. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okie dokie, so we are back in the car once again for the outro. Um, the truck's currently in the garage getting its inspection, because we do those, as I said previously in the previous video, I think, um, that we do those every every four weeks as opposed to every six, just to keep on top of everything. So, yeah, the uh, trail's all parked up, um, and yeah, that's us done for the day. So I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog. Um, please like, share, subscribe, even comment down below as well. Um, I did put a wee TikTok out earlier about the sticker um, so my idea for that is I'm thinking of doing a limited run of the five gold stickers so the golden sticker that's on it at the moment um, but it'd be a smaller size um, so doing five of those and then the rest of it will be the summer's colours of blue, yellow and red so yeah drop a comment down below if you um, would ever think about purchasing one, or I might even do a giveaway of one of the, one of the limited run ones. So, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled on the TikTok and across on YouTube as well for that. So, yeah, anyway, I'll quit waffling. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Um, again, thank you also for the support shown on YouTube and across on TikTok as well. It really does mean a lot. Um, so, yeah, onwards and upwards. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Adios.